Hello everyone, my name is Alex, welcome to my channel. Today we are discussing about portable storage. I have here the Seagate 5TB Backup Plus Portable and the Western Digital Black, also 5TB. This one is supposed to be a game drive, this one is supposed to be a backup. If you just want to see the speed of these drives, I would tell you right away the maximum you can get of this is around 130 megabytes per second. But at the end of the video, I will also post some speed tests. Now, the reason why I do this video is because I'm actually curious to see what's inside this enclosure. But before I open apart these two hard disk drives, let's see what's on the box. So, let's start with the Seagate Backup Plus Portable. We can see here a picture of the device, the capacity, this comes of course in other capacities as well and we can see here um, a kind of software that you can possibly use with this. Now on the side you can see here some requirements and you see that it's also compatible with USB 2. Mac and Windows compatible of course, if you format this the right way. If you format it in NTFS, for example, it will work only on Windows. Some other informations on the back in different languages. If you want to read this through, you can pause the video. But I don't think there is something very useful. On the other side, I see you have here two months of Adobe Creative Cloud. This can be interesting in case you want to edit videos. So yeah, on the top of the box, not very easy to see. You have the warranty information. Most of the world has two year limited warranty. And in some regions, we have actually three years limited warranty. From what I can tell, this three year limited warranty is in the Asian regions. So let's move to the other one. This one is the Western Digital Black P10. Again, 5 terabytes. Because this is a gaming drive, you get, of course, directly the speed mentioned here. This is a bit more expensive than this one, because uh, this one has a certification for PlayStation or Xbox. But I would say you don't uh, need a drive with this. Any drive will work with PlayStation and Xbox. You just have to format it. On the side you can see the profile of this and you can see here it says its actual size. On the back we can see some more information about uh, what is inside. You have the hard disk drive, you have a cable, quick install guide. Yeah. And here it says that you have actually three years warranty. Something interesting. Both of this hard drive are still using this USB micro B. I hope we will go to USB-C soon. And uh, this one, it says that it has a metal cover for passive cooling. Even though they advertise this, the Seagate also has this, so it's not something fancy. You need some uh, metallic surface to dissipate the heat. Now you also see here it says high performance game drive. To be fair, I don't think it will be very different from the other one, but yeah. Okay, so this was on the boxes. Even though this time it is not very interesting, I like to show the boxes because I also like to see the box when I see a review. Because sometimes you can see useful information on the box. Okay, so that was the quick presentation of the packaging. I think both of them are good enough so that the hard disk drive arrives at you in a good condition. So both of the hard disk drives come in this uh, plastic enclosure. This is very good for transport. I took already out the Seagate, but uh, I show you the Western Digital just for you to have an idea how this comes. Now let me show you the cables you can expect inside these packages. So this is the kind of cable you get with these two hard drives. And of course this cable is USB 3. 
You can see here it's USB 3 by this blue connector. I actually don't use these cables because I use USB Type-C. So I have bought another short cable with uh, micro B and USB Type-C. Now I want to shortly present you what's inside this enclosure. Because inside you have a simple hard disk drive. And I already took apart the Seagate one. And um, this is how it looks like. You can see here I have some rubber bumpers on the side. This is of course for the minimum amount of protection, but uh, I don't think this will save it from a drop from around one meter. Probably a drop will damage this, but this is good enough for uh, protecting it inside your bag, for example. Now, what you need to know is that um, you lose the warranty if you remove the drive. So I have already voided my warranty for this product. But normally these things uh, don't break, so I don't mind. Uh, for me it's always interesting to see how technology works. So yeah, I think it was worth it. You can see that this uses standard SATA connection. So actually, if you can find this very cheap, you can take this hard disk drive out and use it in another machine, for example, your computer. So what I was very curious and I was not able to find online is how easy you can open these enclosures. And in this case, for the Seagate, it was a bit harder to open the enclosure. So you can see here the enclosure, it's now opened. And um, this is a metal part on the top. What I did to open this, I used a suction cup. So simply uh, attach a powerful suction cup and uh, I used force. Yeah. It took me about five minutes to take this open, but it worked. Uh, and as you can see, this is uh, all metal on the sides and it also has some uh, sticky material, yeah? This is some kind of uh, double-sided tape. What I liked here in particular is uh, this uh, large distributor of heat to this metal surface and uh, these pads. Now, the rest of the case is of course plastic. These pads I put myself, they are some kind of felt pads. So uh, I think it's nice for it to not scratch on your desk. But again, this didn't come with the hard disk drive. So this is the moment where I show you the other one. This is the Western Digital Black T10 game drive. I think it looks cool. Uh, it looks a bit more rugged, let's say, yeah. What I really like about it, you can see here on the bottom, it has actually square rubber feet. This is helping very much if it's on the desk to not move around. The Seagate will still move on the desk because firstly it didn't came with uh, any pads and secondly I didn't use rubber pads on this. I'm still searching for nice rubber pads. You can easily find some uh, rubber pads but those are enormous and I tried to find something smaller. If you have something like this, you bought something like this, maybe you leave me a link. Now, in Europe, the Seagate costs around 100 euro. The Western Digital Black is very close to 130 euro. And I don't think it will have any benefit in performance. But I also want to open now the Western Digital Black and what I really appreciate about this design is that we have these four screws and you can simply get inside. I have already opened this one time. Unfortunately, you cannot use this suction cup, so you need to come with something else. Be careful when you're doing this. I will use a sharp tool.
So here we have it. This is the 5 terabytes Western Digital Black. Unfortunately, there is not much information here, but uh, this is as far as I got. Now, to remove this out, I think you have to use more force and I don't want to push my luck. And this is the metallic cover. And as you can see, this has a much smaller uh, material that will help dissipate the heat. But probably it's still enough. So what is interesting, you see we have uh, on the top these gaps for the air. That is interesting. Probably this will uh, help somehow. I can see here that uh, this is quite recent produced. June 2020. Now what I forgot to show you on the Seagate drive. This is actually the electronics behind uh, this SATA connection to the micro B connection. And both of these devices have also a status LED. So I will now put everything together and I will make some tests because the test will be self-explanatory. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, have a good one.